This graph is called an audiogram. It has the responses from your child's hearing test. This type of hearing test measures what frequencies or pitches can be heard at what volume. Let's take a look at the audiogram. Along the top of the chart are the different pitches or frequencies. They are organized like keys on a piano, from low, middle, to high pitched tones. The reason that we test these pitches or frequencies is because these pitches make up speech and language. For example, a J sound has a low pitch where an S sound has a high pitch. We want to know if your child can hear all of the sounds and at what volume. From the top to the bottom of the graph is the volume mute that we tested. Quiet sounds are at the top and loud sounds are at the bottom. The further down on the graph the responses are, the more significant the hearing loss is. You will notice this graph has different pictures and letters on it. The pictures show where different sounds in our day-to-day -day lives fall based on their pitch and their volume. For example, water dripping in the tub is a quiet sound and therefore is at the top of the graph. And it is a low pitch sound, therefore on the left side of the graph. Whereas an airplane is a high pitch sound, so you will find it on the right side of the graph and it is loud, so it will be on the bottom of the graph. Let's look more at the consonants and vowels inside the blue area. The letters inside the blue shaded area are different speech sounds and where they fall based on the pitch and volume. For example, the n sound is a low pitch, loud sound. The s is a quiet, high pitch sound. These pictures and letters on the graph help show what your child is hearing. Now let's explain how we mark how each ear hears. The blue X's are the scores from the left ear. The red circles are the scores from the right ear. The key in the lower right of the chart indicates the level of hearing loss. The highlighted box at the top is the normal hearing box or the range for normal hearing. If the blue X's or red circles are outside of the box, that means that your child has hearing loss. You can contact your audiologist to discuss your child's hearing loss or audiogram in detail.